Max 3, our favorite big screen mid-ranger from Xiaomi is here today and in this video, let's unbox it, spend some hands-on time with it and you know, talk all about it. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech, car to a monthly giveaway, there's a link in the description below and while you are down there, hit that bell icon, do it, do it, do it, do it right now and once you're done, let's get started. Now this is the box that the Mi Max 3 comes in. We've got some highlights to the back. Let's open it up and we have the Mi Max 3. Let's remove the protective plastic and the stickers to the back. It looks like a big Redmi Note 5 Pro. Next there's some ejector tool, some regular leaflets, a Type-C cable and a 18 watt quick charge adapter. It's worth noting there's no soft case included here. Now what is unique to this phone is this display. The Mi Max series usually has one of the largest displays on a smartphone and it's no different this year with the Mi Max 3. We've got a mammoth 6.9 inch 18 by 9 panel here, the resolution is Full HD+. Plus. This is an IPS LCD panel, it looks great, consuming media on this one is gonna be a great experience. Talking about media consumption, that earpiece you see above the display, it doubles as a secondary speaker. The primary speaker itself can be found to the bottom along with a microphone type c port to the right we have the power and volume keys the secondary noise cancelling microphone and an air blaster can be found up top and yes a headphone jack the mi max 3 happens to be one of the very few mi branded devices that still retain the headphone jack i mean just to be clear redmi phones still have it but the mi phones xiaomi is kind of cutting them out the headphone jacks out of mi line and Glad to see that the Mi Max 3 still has it. And to the left, we've got a hybrid tray. To the back, we've got a vertical dual camera setup just like with the Redmi Note 5 Pro. In fact, these are the same ones found on the Chinese Redmi Note 5, more commonly known as the Redmi Note 5 AI. The fingerprint scanner is also present to here to the back. The Mi Max 3 is large, but thanks to that 18 by 9 aspect ratio, it's a little narrower than its predecessor, but not by much as the display size has gone up a lot. So I don't expect taking calls with it to get any easier. That said, the build quality itself is as good as we've been saying from Xiaomi. So absolutely no complaints here. It feels solid in hand. Now the Mi Max 3 has more similarities with the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Underneath the hood, we've got a Snapdragon 636 chip that's with either 4 or 6 gigs of RAM to go along with 64 or 128 gigs of storage. The battery capacity is a whopping 5500 mAh. It's a walking power bank, people. Despite this and the 6.9 inch panel, it's a wonder that Xiaomi has managed to keep the weight around 220 grams. Now, from a performance perspective, the Mi Max 3 should do just about as well as the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So basically, good day-to-day -day performance and even managed to run some intense titles. For example, we tested PUBG out with it and the experience was great, especially on this huge mammoth display. On the software side of things, we have MIUI 9.6 built on top of Android 8.1 Oreo. It should be receiving the MIUI 10 and Android Pie updates eventually. As of now, the performance seems very familiar given all the time we've spent with the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Right from dual apps to the camera app, it's all very similar except for the fact that this one has support for 4K video capture. Guys, for the life of me, I still don't understand why Xiaomi is not supporting it on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. This is effectually a Redmi Note 5 Pro, right? But with a bigger display. This supports it. The lower spec Redmi Note 5 supports it. Why not the 5 Pro? What did 5 Pro users ever do to you, Xiaomi? Anyway, talking about cameras, here's where the Mi Max 3 should perform better than the Indian Redmi Note 5 Pro. When the Redmi Note 5 Pro launched as the Redmi Note 5 AI in China, it came with improved optics, a 12 megapixel Samsung S5 K2 L7 sensor, if I can recall correctly, with larger 1.4 micron sized pixels and a faster f1.9 lens. The Mi Max 3 uses the same optics with the same 5 megapixel depth sensor. Xiaomi is going with Samsung for the front camera too and this one's a 13 megapixel shooter. So the samples you're seeing were shot with these cameras, how do you think they fared? Personally, I really like them. The dynamic range uh, especially seems very good. I'd have more to say in my full review, yes, but even as of now, I'm quite impressed with it. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about 
these shots in the comments below. Now finally, let's talk pricing. The Mi Max 3 sells in China for 1699 yuan that converts to about $250 or 17,300 Indian rupees. Xiaomi's traditionally brought the Mi Max lineup to India, the Mi Max, Mi Max Prime, the Mi Max 2. It's all been sold here, so I guess the Mi Max 3 will end up hitting Indian shores sooner or later. At 17k with improved cameras, it should be a big deal. I mean, the Poco F1 would still eat it alive with regards to performance. But for that niche audience that loves humongous displays and a battery that just keeps going on and on and on and on, this might still be a very good deal. Anyway, like I said, I'll have more to say in my full review after I've spent more time with it. So I guess that's it for this quick little unboxing and hands-on video. And it is time I bid you adieu. If you hated the video, well, I'm pretty sure you know what to do. But if you did like it, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Get subscribed to C4 eTech and click on that bell icon to become part of our notification squad. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 eTech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.